People used to call me Danny. That's okay. No, they did. We recorded. Yeah, now. they did. Do the they intro. said I look like you, and I look like this other kid named Manny. Dude, do the intro. <laughs> Huh? Hear the voice. The Come on, do the I'm voice. I'm not your servant. <laughs> <laughs> That's the intro. I, I only came here for the voice, so. Welcome to Two Crazy Scoops Podcast with your hosts Ao and Antino with special guest Levi. And once again returning, returning Danny Carlisle. Again. He wouldn't leave. Uh, he refused. So, <laughs> no, this is this is good, Danny. I hear they have to they have to pay you more if you're a recurring guest. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to pay me in, but I'm down. It's, no, so, it's, sweet. it's so sweet. It's so sweet anchor ads. <laughs> Laxatives. That's what they're going to pay me in, is it? Chocolate. Is that what you need chocolate. right now? Chocolate. No, chocolate. no, I'm good. They just really want to give me laxatives. They were telling me the whole <laughs> previous episode that I should be taking laxatives, and I was like, I'm not Like, I'm not having a problem. They're I don't know why for, you guys want to. Don't, wait, for big don't wait till right you have a problem. <laughs> big TP, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Danny, you know better. <laughs> no way do I not have a problem. And You're like, we're all we're now. all plugged, okay? Just we, all, we, we know you all Americans. I mean, I was taking stoppers because I I didn't want to use up the toilet paper. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I just stopped eating for a while. Taking what? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say you were taking? I said stoppers. Oh, you know, like like uh what's that called? I don't even know what they're called. What whatever the opposite of a laxative is. I didn't know there was. Stool I didn't know there was. Yeah. <laughs> it's called cheese, Levi. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Pepto Bismol. Right? Lactose for some people. Yeah. Uh, it might have the opposite effect, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's a 50 50 I'm willing to take. Yeah, it's a flip of the coin. You don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, is this is our first episode with four people on it. Oh, oh, man. Congrats. Special edition. Yeah, we're just kind of going off off the cuff at this point. I know. I was told I was going to get an outline, and then I didn't see anything. <laughs> that was my fault. Okay, okay. You want to know what the outline was? You know what I got Aaron, seven, Aaron I- texted it to me today. He's like, I have uh, several outlines for the guests that we have. I want you to read them over. And they were all three lines. Yes. That's <laughs> Your outline no, says, no, I think that's where I got the survey questions. email. What Your background today, <laughs> yeah. And then working out from home. So you're the you're our uh, gym specialist. Oh, right. You're, <laughs> like you're a dude. fitness expert. You're becoming a YouTube star right now. You're, you're like 20 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> wait, well, wait, no, wait. I got to link you guys a video I made though because it, it actually I was proud of this one. Oh, so you yeah. are doing stuff about working out at home? Oh yeah, yeah, oh. Well, yeah. So for if you guys don't know, so my, we have a my family has a gym. And so we had to close down. So I've been making YouTube videos of at home workouts, but it got a little crazy. Like the first week they were pretty normal and second week. And then third week we got like, and fourth week we just got a little ridiculous with it. And How then, to uh, bench your couch. And then no, <laughs> deadlift, deadlift your couch. No, I'll, I'll show you that. Oh no, no, man. You were right. You were right. <laughs> oh, I, was man. Having, I was having come in, uh, people come in and film with me. Um, so like I'd explain the workout and I'd have someone next to me doing demonstration of the movements, but like that dried up pretty quick. There were people didn't want to do it. So I had to film one against myself. So I did <laughs> parent trap style talking to myself. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> It can work. It can work. Oh, Wait, it was, so how it was do we great. find this if we want to look it up? Oh, I'll i I'll, I'll give it to you right now. I'm I'm looking it up. You can if you want, you can share your screen too if you want to play it. But, oh, you and it, but yeah, but give us your YouTube uh, channel because we can put that in the uh, episode when we post it. Oh, I don't want people watching this. It's hard enough to get myself in front <laughs> of the camera. Wait a minute. Wait, I thought that's why you started the channel. No, no it was no. for it's for the people who went to our gym who already know like how bad I am. Oh, so this isn't oh. for everybody. This isn't for public <laughs> consumption. It, it it's a public YouTube page. <laughs> we don't need to be sending people there. It was hard enough to start filming myself. You're like you're trying to make people unsubscribe, not subscribe. I'm yeah, like, exactly. I don't want. I don't want more people seeing this. Oh, this one's so good. This one has 42 views, and probably at least 30 of them were myself. So let's see. <laughs> it sounds like our podcast. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I know. Only, I listen only... twice. I just run it in the background so you guys can get those. Oh, thanks. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. That's real. No, no, we appreciate that. We really appreciate that. Uh, I use it as because my white you, noise to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. Because because of you, we can now buy a pack of uh, gum. <laughs> well, <laughs> one one piece we, of toilet paper to split between you. Yeah. Right. Right. So they got the little machine on the office where you we can get a coffee it. from McDonald's. <laughs> a small. 
Ooh, a small senior coffee. We, but we have With to pretend coupon. to be seniors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> senior coffee. Yeah. The senior no. coffee from. I, uh, yeah. I put it in the chat. You guys want me to show it, show it to you real quick? I can screen share it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm. Okay, I haven't watched one of these with someone, so it's gonna, you know. Danny's just me... being hanging off his balcony and doing pull-ups. <laughs> hey, no, I, no, that's that's good stuff right there. <laughs> you 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 cannot fathom how lazy I have been this whole time. All right, um, you guys see this? Antonio's probably done so much more. This is it here. Oh yeah, my my dad edits all these. Oh, it's you and you. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is Hi, actually athletes. really cool. Welcome to your CrossFit Cure at home workout for Monday, May 11th. I am Coach Levi. We've got a special guest demoer here today, Athlete Levi. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> sure, I love that's these awesome. videos. They're great. That is awesome. awesome. Great. All right. Well, let's get started with our warm up today. Um, we're going to do an AM rep of it's four not, minutes for the first part of our warm up. Why is the left and the first you move in that AM rep right is going to be five rush I'm a little more forward. So oh. it's funny because I filmed, I filmed a lot of Just grab your toes, so bring your hips down. You can stay down there for a second. Bring them back up and, and five times. Uh, that's pretty much it. I just, just like that. This whole the next <laughs> movement after <laughs> five Russian baby makers really well, right? is going so, to yeah. be a yeah, five, yeah, 10, yeah, it's really 15 smooth. meter uh, shuttle so, sprint. So go out and run five. So that's what we do. I'll show, I'll show you one more. Just since you talked about uh, uh, lifting up your couch. Hold on. <laughs> see, now I just film it in front of a wall. Um, yeah, we got we got a like little... most of our. Oh, this meetings. is what. Th- hold on, this is so we did this for uh, May fourth, the May fourth workout. We called it the Kessel Run, and then we did, uh, like a big scroll. We started having fun with it. Hold on, I'll show you. <laughs> 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 you have a whole dialogue for it. Oh That's yeah, amazing. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> we typed out a, we typed out a whole thing. Hold on, what day was that? Actually, the funniest thing about that is a lot of your videos are like seven minutes, eight minutes, and that one is 12. So we yeah. know that intro was like four <laughs> minutes long. <laughs> we needed, it was a long one. We needed to monetize that thing. Did, Bel- uh, did Palpatine come back in that one too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't, I think That's awesome. Maybe it's this one. I don't know. It's at, it's at the beginning, so. You know what? I'm gonna take the screen share off. I don't want you guys to just have to watch me click through this. I'll figure out which one it is. It's okay. We watched like, uh, who was clicking through stuff? Oh, our last one, Eddie. He was looking for different pictures to show us about viruses. Oh, and... oh man! Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? What was Eddie trying to show you guys? <laughs> oh, it was no, interesting he... though. We need to get pictures from him so that we can post uh, it on the Instagram. Yeah, and he has some pretty cool pictures. And he was talking about syphilis and all this cool stuff. Oh, oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I did. I did find it. So this is what this is what we did for uh, for this one. Hold on. Uh, share. There we go. So this is how we started this one. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Sorry, I was just enjoying my quarantine breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make box step-ups more difficult without using any weight? Let's find out. Also, what happens when you're at home and you want a deadlift, but you don't have any heavy weight? Hey, Levi. Oh, hey, Adam. Want to grab a workout? Sure. Sweet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Three quarter Man, that was a good nice. workout. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so we were, you know, we that had ideas funny. and then like you burn through those in like one week and then I was like, sorry, because people are telling me like, hey, keep making funny videos. And I'll, that's it. That was all my comedy. <laughs> You're like, I used it all up. <laughs> Just... I'm much more situational, you know, situational comedy. I can't, I can't. Hey, can we cut some clips of that? <laughs> you do whatever you want. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Aaron's gonna edit himself into the video. Right, I'm gonna fix my face. No, so. uh, yeah, do it. Do a third person in. Whatever you want to do. No, I think that one has like uh, 21 views. So. Oh wow. It's like check out this epic deadlift I did, and it's yeah. just hey. like Aaron's like clickbait video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, deadlift he, my he, house. <laughs> yeah. He came in and did some deadlifts. I did. Yeah. 
So, so I, I was wondering, so if you have somebody come in, do they have to wear a mask? Or do you have to wear a mask? This was before I, anything. Okay. You know, so it's different all over the country. Uh, what they've said in Arizona, because they don't care about anyone, is that <laughs> you just social, like in some gyms, social are, like, everyone has to be something. 12 feet apart and everyone has to wear masks and you have to take the temperature at the door and stuff. And we're doing a lot of that stuff. Um, but basically what we did now is we have, cause we had to, I mean, everyone reopened. So we have uh, spaces marked out and we only have a certain number of people in the class. And then, um, I mean, we don't wear masks, but we stay really far apart. But right now we're not having like more than five or six people and it's a big space and we have all the doors open and stuff. So yeah, good ventilation. We're just, we're just trying to be careful about, it's not required here. The people could, I don't know, they could go work out right next, as long as they're six feet apart and they can sweat oh. and breathe all over each other. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we're, we're, we're sanitizing everything and we've got the thermometer and wow. all that stuff. So were you working out at home when you weren't like... Yeah, so we were doing Zoom classes too. So that's like one of the options we provided people. Um, so we had all our equipment there. We let people just come and take equipment, take it home, and then... I do Zoom classes every day in, in here, not at the gym or anything. I just do them in here and <laughs> you can't so really coach. You're just watching people and their, their cameras are all over the place. <laughs> like, okay, Somebody's people, wearing a GoPro and minute. trying to show you what he's yeah. doing. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, what's the name of your uh, gym again, Levi? Uh, it's called CrossFit Cure. It's on Wrightstown and Pantano. Nice. Oh, what's the difference yeah. between CrossFit and just general exercise? <laughs> Zumba. <laughs> Zumba. Oh man. You know, uh, dancing. Uh, it, you I guys mean, use shake weights in CrossFit. What's the idea, huh? What's that? So do you guys use shake weights in CrossFit? You could, you know, CrossFit is the idea of it is it incorporates everything. So you could, you could probably use shake weights if you wanted, if that's what you had. <laughs> <laughs> We made a we made a video because before we loaned out our equipment, people didn't have any like thing to work out with. So we made a video on how you can make weights at home, and we're like, you know, go get some gallon jugs. If you fill them with water, it weighs this much. If you fill yeah, them yeah. and it weighs this much, or fill a backpack with a bunch of books, and I don't know, pick up your dog, put them over your head, throw them in the air. Yeah, <laughs> no, so, don't, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, if it happens, I mean, <laughs> if it comes to it. <laughs> so. and if you need more weight you just feed your dog more that's right <laughs> exactly <laughs> you could do the same thing with your siblings <laughs> yeah. like why are you giving me so many brownies <laughs> you know, to make you heavier oh wow. yeah. what no <laughs> now lay Give on the ground and challenge. hold your arms out so i can lift you up yeah <laughs> so while i was here i tried doing planks like mm -hmm. one planks Mm -hmm. And that is the most pain that I've experienced in a minute. Planks are hard, right? You do my them whole life. Hands, you do them down on your elbows. On my elbows. Okay. Is yeah, that right? Tough. Oh yeah, that's oh, the harder okay. way to do it. So then, like I was saying, what's the difference between CrossFit and like other working out? Uh, like, what's, like primarily, like the idea, <laughs> the idea <laughs> behind CrossFit is that you uh, train every every sort of like uh exercise discipline so there's like gymnastics there's olympic weightlifting there's like metabolic conditioning we do a, a, like running rowing um it's it's all different there's body weight uh so the idea is like they wanted to come up when they when they started it the idea was you, you would come up with how could you create the fittest person on earth and it wouldn't be someone who's like a marathon runner or someone who is like super a strong man, right? Because yeah. they're both going to have major imbalances. So the idea is like, you're not the best at everything, but you're like pretty good at everything. Like well-rounded. Um, yeah. But it's Easy just, I mean, it's just a brand really, you know, anyone can do it. It's just functional fitness and, and other stuff like that. So. Yeah. Cause I had like a friend who used to weight, uh, lift weights and he wouldn't go running cause he said it would lower his uh, muscle density or what. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know the science behind that, but we run and we lift weights. No, I mean like that's what he wanted. He just wanted. Oh yeah, yeah. If you're going for something specific, right? You're only you're only gonna you're only gonna train that. But um, typically, like if you went into a CrossFit gym versus like LA Fitness, you're gonna do a workout that involves a lot of different movements, or sometimes it's specific to the day. But it's probably gonna be like a certain amount for time. So that's usually like people who do CrossFit are crazy about timing their workouts and so how long is a crossfit workout 
Well, we run our classes. It depends on the class. So sometimes we'll do a really long workout. Like on Monday, we're going to do a super long one. That's like a mile run and then uh, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats and a mile run. But some days oh you come God. in and it's like a, uh, as fast as you can, this workout's supposed to take four minutes. And then oh. you do skill the rest of the time. I really wanted you to say, we have like an eight hour <laughs> workout that's for <laughs> just straight endurance. Like, yeah. If you survive, <laughs> you're, you, you get a medal. <laughs> like, you've beaten CrossFit. <laughs> you beat, yeah. you beat CrossFit. You can just go home. Yeah. Like, go home, kid. You finished. <laughs> we can't teach you anything else. <laughs> that's the black belt. Do you do like handstand push ups then? Because I had a friend who did CrossFit and he would yeah. like do that. Yeah. How many can you do? Oh, I can't do very many. I'm not, I'm not strong. Oh, I teach people how to do it. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a coach. Is that the whole, like, those who can't do teach thing? That's right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I appreciate it. The best coaches sure. in sports weren't always the best uh, athletes, right? No, that's, ain't that the truth. No, I follow, I follow <laughs> our, our workout programming, but no, there's people who are way better than me. I'm like, you really have to spend a lot of time doing it, and the most of the time I'm there, I'm coaching, so you don't even really have time to work out. And how much does diet play into the CrossFit workout? Uh, into the workout? I mean, we, we tell everybody to eat good. So it, 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 diet is going to have a huge effect on like your improvement, but it's, it's just like any exercise. Diet, I, I diet and exercise go hand in hand. Yeah. I do appreciate you said eat good because good means different things to different people. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm eating. not going to tell anyone to follow a specific <laughs> diet. We don't, we don't do that. We just, I tell every people, everybody to track what they eat. And uh, usually when you do that, you start eating a little bit better. Good. Cause I got this oh. big mac right here. I'm going to just yeah, eat it. I know. Like you go <laughs> through it. You realize you ate a whole bag of flaming hot Cheetos and then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I've got a donut Sunday here that yeah. now I don't know if I feel comfortable eating, but <laughs> I, don't, I do I don't, understand. I don't, <laughs> you know, like to tell people to, you know, just be responsible with it, and we teach you how to do that. But moderation, th- you know, every different diets are gonna work. We'll do whatever works for you. Mozzarella cheese sticks. Yeah, I'm down. And, and some pig feet. I mean, most people who come in to work out, honestly, they do it so they can eat whatever they want and still look like a normal human being. That never works. Though. I don't think because it works. doesn't. I don't. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Aaron from experience. Even if you, I'm talking, I, Aaron, what, whatever you want changes when you're when you're committing to exercise regularly because you're like. Okay, yeah, you'll feel it. I don't want to work out if you don't eat right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or you're like, I just worked out really hard. I'm like, I'm not gonna go eat something really bad right now because then I feel like I wasted my time. So Levi, what's your, what is your what is your current diet like right now? Um. <laughs> And what does your white stool claw. samples look Just like? White claw. What'd you say? White what claw? White claw. You know what? You should call Eddie. And yeah. Get back on here. I know we need Eddie. Because Eddie, the, will, cause Eddie can ask expert. those questions. Because I wouldn't oh, know what I was man. looking for. That's what? why I don't ask. What? This, huh? Oh, his stool samples? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like there's some corn in here and yeah. some. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's an that's an eddie eddie Yikes. will ask you those type of questions not me no i'm not like i'm not super strict dieter just because like i i've never had to be so some people have to be more i'll like we'll eat relatively good we try to like stay away from too much bread but i'll have that once a day and then like most of our meals we try to do because cassie's a trainer too so we just try to do like a protein and vegetables like some of the best recommendation you can give is just like Drink water, eight, eat 800 grams of fruits and vegetables every day. So how much is 800 grams? Because, you know, over here in the States, we, we don't yeah, use I don't know. I just, I have Being a scale, but I really, I just know. try to eat a lot. <laughs> and like, I'll cheat. I'll eat like, uh, like, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I just, I eat a lot of arugula. I just throw green stuff on everything. Just oh, okay. Got you. How, so. what, what are your feelings about kale? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of kale. I, I like, <laughs> yeah. there you go. I just don't like the texture. Like Cassie will get it in her smoothies. Like we'll go to Whole Foods, she'll get a smoothie and it'll be like a really good smoothie. And then she'll be like, throw kale in there too. And then it feels like it's like little bits of sand in there. Yeah. <laughs> it becomes so, coarse but, sandpaper yeah. instead of a drink. <laughs> yeah. To me, the best green to put in a smoothie is spinach because uh, you can't yeah, taste it. Yeah, spinach is good. And you I love it. You can't taste it. Yeah. I mean, uh, 
I'll eat like a huge bowl of spinach with just some like uh, salt and pepper and olive oil and lemon juice on it. And I'll just I could see that. That would that. be delicious. And I just throw some green too. beans into some bananas, blend them up. <laughs> it's a good smoothie. So that's, that's not, nasty. I used to make, when I come home <laughs> from school, I'd make this, uh, I'd just make like a banana peanut butter smoothie when I was a kid. And my cousin came over one time and he thought it'd be a good idea to throw garlic in there. Oh. I took a drink. And he was like, I didn't think you'd notice. What? Wait, <laughs> the, what? <laughs> what no, notice? Do that. Yeah. Dude, I ate nice. some my friend's mom made some soup with garlic in it, and she put so much that it burned my tongue and I could taste it the next day. <laughs> that's Ugh. that's how my parents are. They eat so much garlic that like you can like sometimes you'll be like, Did you have a bunch of garlic today? Because it just like you know, it comes, it out, of comes the out of your skin. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I have a workmate who does that. And he won't stop, and I keep dropping him. But they say, you know, they say it's... he won't. He won't. Bro, did you take a shower today? Yeah, I took one today, oh. but you still smell like garlic. Okay, okay. <laughs> What's going on here? It's a garlic shampoo. Garlic. Oh, shampoo, huh? yeah. This, he will not stop, and he will not take a hint. <laughs> I'm serious. I'd be like, dude. Um, he probably never gets like, sick, though, does he? He's getting pieces of toast. No, that's the thing. It's supposed to keep no, him no, that's, sick, right? No, no, no. That's true, though. Because he's like, I would say he's probably in his mid-50s, and he looks like he's 30. So it's doing something. But does he and just I get, bet. like, pieces of toast and, like, get his sweat? <laughs> <laughs> just dab it on his face? I haven't <laughs> tried that he's yet. like, having spaghetti tonight. <laughs> I haven't tried <laughs> that yet, bread. but... I'm thinking about it. Garlic bread. Now that you gave me the idea, I'm going to try it and see. <laughs> but I mean, you're, what garlic. are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just quiet. <laughs> quiet. Could you go Turn for a quick head. jog? Could you go for a quick jog so I can get some garlic? <laughs> so I can get a little bit of seasoning here? <laughs> <laughs> go stand outside for 10 minutes. <laughs> you can set up a sample like table. I need some salad dressing. Go stand outside for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Gross! <laughs> Ringing out his T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Onto some buttered bread. <laughs> even, this makes Bacon. even kale taste good. <laughs> <laughs> what is that kind of like salad dressing that that guy does? Oh man, never mind. I, I had a really <laughs> good joke, and it just totally blew up. I can't remember this guy's name. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, people that eat a lot of garlic also don't deal with mosquitoes, right? I mean, mosquitoes won't touch them. Paul Newman. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Newman's best. Newman's best. Newman's lemonade. best. What is it? Good lemonade. Newman's best? That's salad dressing. No, oh, he makes all they kinds make a of lot products. Of, yeah, they make a lot of food. <laughs> it's lemonade on my it salad. It is only <laughs> salad dressing. <laughs> lemonade flavored salad dressing. That's, That's right. a new one, but I'll try it. <laughs> Gotta be better than mayo chop. Oh. <laughs> like, don't get me started on mayo. I hate mayo. <laughs> you know, and they made that, like you said, the mayo chop. So they had that and they had like mayo cube, but then they didn't know what to do for mustard. So <laughs> mayo must. Yeah, it's just. Wait, what is it? They couldn't What's... do like mayo turd, right? Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, it's like what best what brand is best food i think heinz isn't heinz? it heinz it's like mayo mixed with other condiments and they put it and so on the bottle it says like mayo chup and it's mayo and ketchup or mayo and, and its butter. color is frightening for whatever yeah. it's mixed with <laughs> <laughs> it's wait, like is, what is that wait is oh. it separated inside the bottle no and no no, no. It's, no. It's mixed together it's, one it's blended yeah. it's like baby food except worse <laughs> <laughs> like i don't think you'd i don't know it it just if you like mayo, maybe you like it, but if not, it's it sounds awful. Mayo I chub. I looked it up. It looks like Thousand Island dressing. It, oh. It's... <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yeah, it's as bad as it sounds. There's I don't mayo know who's chub, eating it, but... mayo must, cranch, and mayo <laughs> cube. <laughs> oh, ketchup and ranch. Cranch, of course. And ranch. What? Cranch. Cranch. Is that what for is real? It? Did you just make that up, Antonio? No. <laughs> what is cranch? I got it's awesome. Ketchup and ranch. <laughs> cranch. I see it. What is it? Cranch. What's cranch? Ketchup That's and ranch. Awesome. And underneath each of them, it says saucy sauce. Uh, Heinz oh, brings man. you deliciously saucy flavor combinations. They've always been a Dip, drizzle, and dunk any of your favorite foods. <laughs> 
The question they ask after that is, what will we come up with next? Oh, just (laughs) don't make any more mayo combinations. (laughs) I'm going to see how much these are to buy. You know, now that I think about it, though, I think some kale and cranch would make a good combination, though. Ketchup ranch? You know what's Ketchup on your salad? (laughs) (laughs) Or your smoothie. Really, really good, though, is uh, Louisiana hot sauce. And if you mix that with ranch. I can yeah. see that because you did I, and- I thought that I was like a genius for doing that. And then I read the bottle and it told you to do that. <laughs> it told you to do that. Yeah, it was like, you can also enjoy it by mixing it with some ranch. <laughs> I thought I was a genius. <laughs> I was going to send this to them. They were going to put it on the bottle. <laughs> yeah. That's weird yeah. food combinations. Hey, did anyone else ever dip? And I probably may have asked this question before, but it like... First of all, did anyone ever eat at Wendy's? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Did y'all used to dip your fries in the frosty? Yeah. Reluctantly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Even McDonald's, like you did it cones. reluctantly. You're like, oh, you I know? guess I have to. <laughs> I, I guess well, everyone else is doing it. All I my mean, friends are making fun of me because I'm eating like a normal person. <laughs> when you're growing up, everybody's you gotta like these food combinations seem like I love French fries and I love ice cream. You want to know how, how much bad I could it be? I faked six so that I could go to the grand opening at Wendy's across the street from my house. There's a Wendy's across the street from your house now? Wait, oh, how my did... parents' house. Oh, they're old. House. <laughs> yeah, I faked six like, like, like as an adult, <laughs> I Danny. Was like, as I was an like, adult, bro. I was like, oh, no, I'm not feeling well. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, why are you driving to Wendy's? I don't feel well. <laughs> They're the only ones that can cure me. Frosties are the cure. It's like garlic for my soul. Like I said I had a stomach ache, and then I went and ate a bunch of cake for the grand opening. <laughs> they didn't know you snuck out the house? No, my mom took me, so I think she kind of knew I was faking it. Oh. Dang. <laughs> Wendy's is like, like chicken soup, man. It's just to go to Wendy's today. This is why he's faking it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it had just opened, and like the owner was there, and he was like, "Hey, little buddy, how's it going?" Then they like kept our five dollars because we were the first customers, because no one else was as excited as I was. And Did now, you if you like- go to that Wendy's, it smells like urine and vomit. It's <laughs> like, I walked like in an amusement and park. <laughs> yeah, nice. it's seen better days. <laughs> Oh. Anyways, <laughs> we went from CrossFit where, where to Cranch go? to Wendy's. Whereas Danny's, we went from the occult to criminal activity. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> these were all introduced by them, by the way. I don't no, don't no, no, believe no, no, no. that no. I brought these no. in. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Antonio not... introduced the occult. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And Aaron is the one that introduced criminal activities. Okay. Just say it. No, <laughs> he was no. being racist. No, I didn't introduce it. There was a hypothetical uh, situation. He was like, if you worked for a bad person, <laughs> just happens India, to be a certain nationality. <laughs> right. Oh, was that right? Ra- Do we have to edit that? Yes, we're editing so much. Why? Do you guys edit? Do you guys really oh. edit? Um, sometimes we do. We do. That <laughs> today, on on, right? today we have to edit a lot. Well, <laughs> he has to edit a lot. <laughs> edit a lot. This is season two. You got to step it up, guys. We got to uh, step it up. Uh, season two, two, no editing. Usually the budget's increased on season two. Production. Uh, we're not getting up. raunchy. We're getting cranchy. Yeah. Cranchy. <laughs> 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 What did you do to your couch? I crashed it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mix between raunchy and crab. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, so, no, I didn't. Crunchy. <laughs> so, Levi, we've talked to you about CrossFit. And the rest of the notes that we have pretty much just have working out from home. <laughs> That's what you guys know about me. Yes. What oh, wait, is something wait, wait, wait. we don't know about no, you? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. There is a section on here that says background. So this is your opportunity to tell us. Oh, you guys, it's, it's not interesting. No, it is. It is. Everyone has an interesting story. <sighs> so well, when did you learn you had a mustache? Yeah. <laughs> this took me so long. To, you know, when, when uh, me and Cassie first got married, she tried to get, she was like, you know, you should grow out your mustache now. So I'll send you guys. It's bad. I'll show you guys this picture real quick. 
Uh, so I, I, of course, I saved the photo. I grew it out for a month when I was 22. And, uh, and then I didn't touch it again for another eight years because it was so bad. Uh, but yeah. No, uh, my, my background, um, grew up in Washington State. That's good. And I have, I grew up, I have five siblings. So unlike you, Antonio, it was. Wait, and where are you at in line of the five? I'm second oldest. Second oldest? Yeah. Second oldest. So, uh, you know, we had to do all the hard stuff. And, and my younger siblings, they got it all. You had to take all the severe beatings yeah, before right. the other ones showed up. <laughs> but, yeah, nothing, nothing really interesting with my background. What's the difference between the weather from when you've moved here to Washington? Uh, I mean, it's gray all the time there. So, except for summertime, it's really nice. Uh, but I grew up with that, so I was used to it. But people who move there get really depressed. Like, and now moving here, when I go back, it's it's tough. Um, but it doesn't get very warm. So even I was talking about this with someone today. Even when it's like forty degrees, if the sun comes out, like you're putting on shorts and stuff outside. And now living here for seven years, like if it's below seventy, I'm like, I better bring my sweater. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh God! But uh, yeah, it was. Not interesting. <laughs> Growing up with five siblings, there had to be something interesting about that. Oh, mostly just my parents trying to pit us against each other for entertainment. You know. Oh, gotcha. We had a rule. We had a rule. You know, when you get in the car, calling shotgun. Like, if you called shotgun and you got in your seat, everyone else had a right to try and remove you from that seat, and whoever ended up victorious would get. Shotgun. Get the like, seat. Is this why you got into CrossFit? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. We they just be like, go outside. You know, we'll see you at when it's dark. Oh, so we just go out. You nice. know. Did they write the Hunger Games? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, or or they'd be like, yeah, let's. I mean, they would. They'd be like, okay, because we we're all bo- one girl. Girl's the youngest. So all us boys, we'd all just fight all the time. And then if we got too rough. And we got really mean with each other. Then we'd have to kiss each other. <laughs> so, so that's the kind of stuff. My parents were really young too. But like, like uh, they had all six of because like uh, two sisters, <laughs> two step brothers, and then the girl was the 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 baby who's a half sister. And so, uh, like they were like twenty six and twenty four, and has six kids. It's crazy. Yeah. Wow. wow. My mustache, my first mustache picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I had one when I was 19 and I tried growing it out and it was just like terrible. I haven't that's, tried again until like recently. Just Someday I, when you're 30, you'll be able to grow it real thick. So, Antonio, 10 years from now, you'll be able to do it. <laughs> It'll have a, a mind of its own. I'll just be sitting here like, and I'll just be talking. <laughs> Dude, no, that's, that is pretty interesting. I think if my mom tried to make me, I only, there's only two of us, but if my mom tried to make me or my brother kiss, it would, it just would not have worked. It usually it resulted in, in like more fighting. You know? Yeah. <laughs> more fighting. Yeah. Cause my bro, if my brother kissed me, that was, that was um, his way of basically getting me ticked off. <laughs> so but, we would fight. No, when you have that many siblings, like you fight over everything right because like we couldn't you know we couldn't play a lot of video games so we fight over who got to play video games oh. because if there's six kids and they'd be like okay you can all play 30 minutes a, a day or something that's like three hours or we'd fight we had a because we had so many kids we had 15 passenger van so we'd fight over like who got to sit in the front who had to sit in the back <laughs> and like even if somebody had their own seat then we would fight that they got to lay down because they had their own seat and that was fair, <laughs> so they shouldn't be allowed to lay down like you just find stuff to fight about. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get like PTSD when you get in a car now? I haven't gotten in a 15 passenger van since I, since like I moved out, I think. <laughs> We're going to take you to a Greyhound. Tour yeah. bus in years. Yeah. <laughs> no, you find a lot of ways to entertain yourself. Or so what video games did you guys grow up playing? Oh, we were all Nintendo. It's like Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, Donkey Kong Country. That was a good, and that's kind of how I go now because I stink at everything else. 
because well, I yeah would, like, well, i mean you beat me at mario kart like terribly oh i'm good at mario kart that's the only game i'm good at he's like no i'm terrible at mario kart but antonio i still managed <laughs> <laughs> i can't no. I don't know what happened man <laughs> the auto steer on no that's not that's like the only <laughs> i had cheats on I, I had a bot playing for me what, what can i say it's yeah. like bumper cars for video games <laughs> like for the bumper, bumper bars ones. for bowling. The bowling, no, that's yeah. What they have in the newest one, right? They made it for like easy for kids, so like it'll keep you from going. Off. It's like bumpers; it keeps you from going off the course. It makes uh-huh. it even it keeps you moving, so you could like literally set it and it would just go. I know. Now you can't really like unplug their controller because they're all wireless now. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that. true. Did you ever do that to your siblings? Like, give them a a c- controller that wasn't plugged in and just turn on a CPU. We knew we were too smart for that. <laughs> we were we were already fighting over the video games, so you, you couldn't you couldn't get by with that. We we had broken controllers that you know didn't work, but like, you know you'd you'd fight for who got the good ones. Because like on the N sixty four, right, the joystick was really bad. Those things would bust. They'd like put a hole in your thumb. Oh yeah, sometimes I get like a blister or something from like trying to swing Bowser around. Mm-hmm. Oh or, yeah, we would play uh, Mario Party. And I'd get it right here on my hand because you thought like doing that on it would like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They <laughs> sent out gloves. No, they sent out gloves. You could order yeah. a glove. Yeah. I remember yeah. that. Because Mario Party, people were like wounding their hands. Burning their. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all have this brand on our palms now. <laughs> it's like, Wait, oh. Did, yeah. did, any, did anyone else remember like, and I don't know if this was a Detroit thing or not, but there used to always be this white Shooting powder. People? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> Where is this Whoa. going? <laughs> there was this white powder that would build up white powder. <laughs> and it would inside the joy the, the N64 the little con- analog. No, it still it happens. It still happens on like yeah. well you can't see. It's on see look at the thumbstick. See? Oh yeah. See? see? Yeah. Isn't it dead skin? Probably. See. I don't. It's like, like that's not the answer I wanted. <laughs> that used to build up in the N64 uh. controller. Oh yeah, from just kind of like slowly like rubbing away the yeah, it would be like this white away. dust in there, and I didn't know what it was in as Detroit. a kid. Though. It happened in Detroit. It did it's happen only in, in Detroit. Detroit. It was only in Detroit. It was lead. They were using your been. Nintendo to smuggle drugs, Aaron. Yeah, right. Exactly. It could have been. That's why I was asking if anyone else saw that, because if it was, then I would know. Well, like one of my friends, even in like 2014, still had an N64. So I'd go over to his house and play Mario Party, and like I'd still just like lose terribly. I am horrible at Mario Party. You know those games were bad. You just had to play them a lot. That's like any old game. Like you remember they're good, and then you go and play them now, and they weren't good. You just it was you had like two games. You couldn't like switch between, <laughs> so you just get really good at those. Well, yeah. he would like swear that Yoshi had some magical powers in the game, and so he'd like get so mad if you chose Yoshi. <laughs> wow. But I haven't played Mario Party since on the new consoles. Oh, I have it. We can play online, I think. No, I kind of lost interest in getting carpal tunnel from, like, swinging my... You don't do that anymore. It's the remote, so you do, like, the... Yeah. You know? Yeah. (laughs) You do, like, you flip the meat around. No, that was on the Wii, on the Wii. That was on the Wii, probably, You do the that one. Oh, yeah. 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 No. Now you don't have to worry about like yanking your your whole system off the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're like, ah, and you just yeah. Oh no, yeah, I just love the warnings that they had at the on the Wii when you turn it on. It was like, please put the wrist strap on. <laughs> Otherwise, please. Later, when that sleeve came out, you had to put the sleeve on, and it was like, make sure. Yeah, that that you have got, space around. Yeah, social dis- distancing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We already knew that from playing Wii. Right. No, we had like, when I was a kid, because there were so many of us, we'd watch, <clears throat> instead of like us playing, we'd get to watch my dad play. That was like the early days of Twitch streaming. But we- <laughs> <laughs> and it was the same. Did as, he like, make Twitch- you pay him too? It was like the same as Twitch <laughs> chat. We'd be like, you missed it. Go back. Go back. In between <laughs> games, he's, he, there's an ad. Okay. <laughs> who's going to do the dishes? <laughs> and yeah. and uh, not make an allowance. Yeah. No, we'd like make an event out of it. Like when a new game came out, we'd be like, or like, I don't know. I remember some like the old uh, Zelda, like Majora's Mask. Uh-huh. Watch him play it. And then one day he's like, you know what? Today, we're just going to finish this game. We're going to beat this game. And so <laughs> eight hour marathon. And they went and just bought like pizzas and donuts. <laughs> just like, I watched them. You can play, but that's what you do when you have six kids. That's that's your entertainment. 
we go uh, oh wait. i thought this was when i was a kid i thought it was really cool they'd take us out of school early so we could go see movies but it's just so they could get like the matinee price right <laughs> <laughs> We'd get called into the office over the intercom and then I'd be like, yeah, we're going to go see X-Men and everyone would be you know, really jealous. But now you think like, okay, that's good. It's a little trash. <laughs> like, take your kids out early to go watch a movie. <laughs> so, yeah. I, think, I think your parents were geniuses. You have you a lot the of cool parents. Yeah. You got the cool no, parents. It was awesome. I loved it. Yeah, my parents just let me fake sick to go to Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> They'd take you out early. Over the intercom. My yeah, my you mom wouldn't. In the me. office, you get a Wendy's is opening. Uh, <laughs> my mom would not let me leave school early for nothing. As well, mainly elementary and middle. She was like, "You sit there and you stay." I'm like, "What?" She would not pull me out of school early, and that's why I am the way I am now. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, I can call you and tell you to leave your house if you want. <laughs> Aaron, you get to check out of life for a couple hours. <laughs> New movies coming out. You get to leave early. Yeah, I can do well. Yeah, whenever High the theaters open up. Story, but because he just skipped all the time. <laughs> He's like, oh, no matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's so like Danny, no comment. <laughs> like we're not talking about that. <laughs> Danny had this you're, great you're idea close for to home, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you yeah, get for quiet. something completely different. <laughs> Danny had this idea for a skit he wanted us to do on the podcast where we just sit here and eat sandwiches for a long time. But I think he was just trying to convince us to let him eat a sandwich right now. No, 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 no. You just no. want to eat your sandwich. No, just no. The, it. I, it's the idea it. is. Just say it. I can smell eat. the tuna from here. You eat it. Well, that's weird because it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. no. <laughs> the idea is, of course, that the you know you're eating the sandwiches, but we're not talking about it. But it's making it hard for us to talk because there's food in our mouths. But we're still trying to have a normal. I want to ask you a question? You're like, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, but you're like ignoring the fact that that's even happening and just kind of going on with the podcast normally. Like it's a thing that's there, but you're not paying attention to it. It should definitely be PB and J sandwiches. This is like very extra high concept. PB. Is it? It doesn't sound good though. It this sounds is like a spinoff podcast. <laughs> a spin-off I think podcast. it's a genius. I think it's a genius idea. Where at, you just do your podcast with the sandwiches, and then at the end you say like, "Oh, we tried this one with Mayo Q on it, and it oh. was <laughs> oh gosh." Oh. We had to mute Antonio's mic because he was vomiting too frequently. You could tell, the podcast was bad. This this is what we had on our sandwiches on this podcast. Oh, I have another idea, dude. Why don't we do like a uh, something similar to Hot Ones? Have you have? Yeah. Is it oh, yeah. Hot yeah. Ones? Yeah. I have a couple of sauces from Hot Ones. Yeah, me too. I got I got the bomb and I got Mad Dog three fifty seven. Oh, is the bomb really as nasty as everybody says? It's not. It is blazing hot. You haven't had it yet. No, they like a lot of the people say that it doesn't. It's super hot, but it tastes awful. Like that's I, what they said. I, I don't. I don't know because my taste buds went numb after that, so I don't know. <laughs> that junk is hot. I'll. You know what? This is what I, I'll. I'll send you a bottle, and then um, we'll do a we'll do a podcast, and we'll all try it on the podcast. No. Yeah. Uh, how about I be the referee? We we'll just fine. eat as many ghost peppers as we can stand and see who dies first. You can be the referee. Who dies first? Oh, man. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, no, like I'm you've still seen, here. Oh, you've seen There's just stuff going it. on in the background. Mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't going to be on video. All right. So I know. Um, I know. The, it's the, just, the even best. you guys would see it. So she didn't, you know. No, no. The best part about it is that since it's not on video, you'll be like, it, like nobody will have any reference to what we were talking about. <laughs> they're like, you can't see anything, and they're like, yeah, we can't see anything anyway because it's all audio. <laughs> That's why I'm calling you out for eating oh, you, a sandwich, Danny. You gotta upload this to. YouTube. I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody else saw a sandwich. Antonio. And Antonio doesn't even have a shirt on. What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting there rubbing his stomach and looking at us menacingly. <laughs> The whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the less you know, the better. Or a team breakfasting it up. <laughs> That's right. Oh gosh. That was amazing. 
I, I did that. And then I like, after we posted it, I was like, oh, I, I kind of regret that because then <laughs> there were some people I know who are like, hey, what's your, what's your YouTube? Because I want to go watch your videos. Oh, and no. I, had to, like, I had to like wait a week because I didn't want them to go on. And like, that was the first one. They said. <laughs> that was the first one. <laughs> that feels like what it does with the podcast. Because there's some episodes where I'm like, this is funny. Like, it's fun to do. Yeah. And then there's other ones where I'm like, I think I was having more fun on it than what people are going to think. <laughs> you know, that's going to yeah. be the case. And then for some of them. And it doesn't matter because you just have fun with it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. There's some of them, are, and some of the topics are going to be, you know, interest some people, and some topics won't. So I know you guys. This is this is bad because you guys always have people who know about like musical instruments and like movies and all this interesting stuff. And then I didn't want to come on because I was like, I'm just going to sit here and laugh at you guys the whole time. <laughs> well, you talked about CrossFit. All the people that we talked to haven't really worked out that much, so. Yeah, have you? And that's why I want the videos. <laughs> hey, I don't work out either. The people Sorry. that we've interviewed, <laughs> it would be even more hilarious. <laughs> I mean, like, I've gained weight so that when people see me over, like, Zoom that I haven't talked to in so long, they're like, oh, dear God. <laughs> I just put the, throw the beauty filter on. It's all good. Yeah. Wait, there's a beauty filter? <laughs> yeah, there oh, is. Yeah, you can Zoom. say touch up Aaron my Aaron instantly turns into Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, has any of us really worn pants in the last two months? Uh, no comment. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, I, I, wear, I wear basketball shorts. Okay. <laughs> Keep a nice breeze I, going on. It's better than, I, um, <laughs> better than boxers. It's, it's I, I have to. I'm in a leather chair. It'd, it'd be a little sticky. If it was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got stuck. I can't get out. <laughs> Somebody help me. We're going to see you rolling around after quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> Levi in his office chair. But I think, you know, the, the real thing that's happened during quarantine is that showering has really decreased for most people, I think, too. Why? Speak because yourself, you're not going man. anywhere. Oh, what? <laughs> you're not going it's anywhere. Because both you guys That's... had that reaction, and I was like, "Wouldn't it be really funny if we all just singled him out?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I shower every day. You're like, you just, know how I'm nobody ever showers anymore. I mean, the, the, you know, just people they just do nothing all day. All we just all sit here and, and play video games all day in my own filth. You know, it's great. <laughs> just, you know, That's nasty. But, uh, no, what what I did notice though is like I would go a day. And I'd be like, I'm not going out anywhere. Like, I can take a shower tonight. And then I'd forget. And then the next morning, I'd be like, oh, well, I guess I better do this. But, yeah, I was like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're not going anywhere. And you not. haven't showered for three weeks. Just tell us. No, I've gone outside in the last three weeks. <laughs> 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 the light will clean me. I haven't showered since February. Excuse me. <laughs> Long before we had to stay inside. <laughs> I stopped that nonsense. <laughs> That's about when I started carrying my toilet around with me. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, so, Levi, this is what we ask all of our guests. Do you have some kind of PSA you'd like to tell everyone? <laughs> Excuse I me? don't think I've heard that before. I've listened to this one. Public service announcement. Yeah. We just started today. That's why. Oh, so that's what you mean by you ask everyone in season season two, huh? Yeah, we ask everyone one. as in you. We're, we're asking as you. As in you. <laughs> oh, I wish this would have came out in the outline. I would have come up with something. Dude, the outline had three lines on it. <laughs> no, no, no. no. We were supposed. No, we were supposed to flush this out. But no, you can. Um, you can flush definitely it down the toilet. <laughs> that's uh. what I heard. Flush it out. Yeah. Uh. We, Full no, circle. <laughs> no, feel free to plug whatever you want. Uh, <clears throat> no, I don't How have can anything. You not hurt yourself by working out. Let's just say that. That'll be uh, your day. You know what? You probably will at some point, but that's okay. No, that's one of the things. That's one of the things that we have to like really be careful about because like, I did used I used to go to gyms where coaches didn't really pay attention or when I was working out by myself, you don't really know what you're doing. Cause that's kind of how I, before I moved here, I never worked out. I'd, I'd run a little bit, but then when I moved to Arizona, I was like, man, everyone, goes to, everyone goes to the gym <laughs> in the middle of like, why does everybody go to the gym? So I finally started going and yeah, I'd, I'd hurt myself all the time. And then I, I went to another gym and like someone told me to do something and I did it and I hurt my back for like six months. Mm. So, that's what, that's why like, I'm really careful as a coach on what people do and like the progressions of movements they do, how much weight they lift <clears throat> and just telling them to, to stop. But 
the, I mean, the reality is, is at some point you probably will get an injury, but I, in my opinion, it, it outweighs the, the benefit you get from it outweighs like most injuries because they're not going to last very long. You'll get some soreness or some pain or something, but you just take care of it and get back to it. You know, really quickly, something just popped into my mind when you talked about injuries. Uh, I remember going to the gym, like when I was 18 and, um, there was this dumb move that people used to do. And I don't know if you ever remember this, but it's one where you lay on the ground and someone stands over you and you, you lift your legs up and then they push them back to the ground. Yeah. Have you yeah. Seen that? Okay. I don't see that anymore, fortunately, but that back in the day they used to do that. And I remember seeing that and I'm like, Oh, that's a really good idea. I should do that so I can get strong abs or whatever. So I was watching the guy and he was pushing his legs down and he bring them back up, and pushing them. And then all of a sudden he did a push and I heard something go pop. And the guy's legs just fell flat down. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm not doing that. Yeah, he. What was it? They I don't him. know. I don't know. But he couldn't get up. They shot him. Something broke. And was like, we were still in Detroit. Yeah, we were. This was Detroit. This was Detroit. And no, it was not a gunshot. <laughs> it was not a gunshot. It's it's pop, 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 pop. <laughs> They shot him like, in the that back. must have no. been his knees. <laughs> no. No, it was not a gunshot. I know a gunshot when I hear one. <laughs> but that's the thing, too, because people will see stuff on Instagram or whatever, and they're like, oh, I'm going to try that at the gym. Mm -hmm. But, like, maybe they've never worked out their abs in their whole life, and then they try that, and something like that happens. It destroys their abs. Yeah. <laughs> this is a – he wanted to say hi. My dog got in the screen. <laughs> he's attacking me Which, tell, tell us your dog's name again his name is Porter and he Porter. is a German Shepherd puppy and he's nice how old is he eight months old eight oh months. yeah so. hey Porter hey Porter and he can't, can, he can German Shepherds do CrossFit as well <laughs> you can do the uh, the old wheelbarrow where you grab the back legs you know? <laughs> 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 Levi, you just yeah. imagine you walking your dog around the neighborhood. <laughs> I do it. Carry, uh, carry him around as like a pack, you know, to make it more intense. And then I just shout CrossFit when I do it. And then CrossFit. everybody knows. CrossFit. <laughs> <laughs> like hauling your dog. CrossFit. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your next video. I thought about doing that for a video and then I, I for, uh, you know, one of those, and then it was just me, and I was like, "Well, if it's just me, it's going to be really dumb." So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm subscribing to your channel. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, me too. Well, now the videos aren't the videos are just really like plain now. All you'll see is like I film myself explaining them, and then I film myself like separately in a different area doing them, and it's just me like sweating because I do like five in a day, and then uh, my glasses falling off constantly. So play. I found a Levi Bridges on YouTube. Yeah. And it's a guy playing Fix You by Coldplay on a guitar. No. Is that you? Not me. No. <laughs> I'll take credit. I can't play guitar, but what does hmm. this what does this person look like? Do they look like Levi me? Bridges talks about traveling with Mexican workers. Is that one you Oh, that one was <laughs> definitely me. <laughs> You're joking, right? No, this is all stuff on YouTube. Wait, let me see. My YouTube isn't, I don't have a YouTube under my name. That is funny. Well, look, I just, thank you very much for joining us for the podcast. We are going to go ahead and wrap it up. Any last thoughts anybody want to throw in before we uh, wrap up this recording? Any Eat last cranch. words? Any last words? Cranch. Before? Cranch. Put it on cranch. everything. Put it on kale. <laughs> Deep fry everything and just smother it in cranch. <laughs> Stay healthy. Blend it my up. Friends. Stay healthy. Got you. All right. <laughs>